Hi Pisces, welcome back to Eccentric Social Vibrations. I am Blue Daisy Love 7. You know all the tarot stuff, like, share, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. All right, let's go on into this. You got freedom and openness. We're doing Oracle today. You can scroll down and trust and check out any of the other messages on this channel, no matter when they were posted. If you gravitated towards the title, you can listen to it. Even if it's not your sign, they are, you know, no time is on them to when it can resonate for you. Okay, notice the blessings tell the truth and confidence. They have additional messages on the back. I'll go over those later. All right, and then you got purpose, regret, and adversity. Purpose, I know what I'm here to do. Okay, regret, I know that I cannot change the past. Adversity, I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. All right, so let's see here. Let's see what you got going on here. It shows you being a highly intuitive person. Yet, I feel be careful who you confide in and tell your business to. You may have some regrets about something. Okay, you did or... Just challenges in general. I feel like you tried to change something, right? Or do something. Ooh, pardon me. I have the yawns. I feel like you tried to do something and it didn't work out well, right? And you could have trusted someone as well. Or, or it could be this. You could have trusted someone, right? And they really broke your trust. You could have in exchanged information or told them something and they shared it with others. You could have really, really, really confided um, in this person or this individuals or others. I also feel like you tried starting over somewhere, like a new start or starting on something new. And it's been nothing but challenges ever since you started doing this thing here, right? And you're trying to get yourself together. You're going, um, I feel like you're questioning yourself, okay? Should I have done this? Should I have done that this way? Maybe if I would have did it differently, it would have turned out that way, okay? I feel like, <laughs> you know, no, <laughs> with the purpose card. And I'll read what the back of it says in a minute. Um, I'll read what the back of it says in a minute. But no, I don't feel like... Pardon me. I am so sorry, y'all. No, I don't feel like anything would have came out any differently, to be honest with you. It doesn't matter. Just let it be. Let the past be the past. I don't care if it was yesterday. It's the past. <laughs> I said it's time. These cards say it's time. I apologize. Um, your spread says it's time for you to spread your wings and fly, you know, or the term free as a bird. I'm getting that as I look at the freedom card. The term free as a bird. Okay. I feel like your intuition is spot on. Definitely. Your intuition and how it is, how it operates, how it's set up is just on point, period, okay? Trust it and have faith in it, okay? What is going on? They say when you yawn too much, not enough oxygen going to the brain. <laughs> I don't know. I do apologize. I'm not even sleepy. I know that's got to be annoying. Please hear me out and help a sister out. But this is saying that you need to trust yourself, okay? Mine is so strong. I can tell immediately when somebody is telling me a lie. How you charge that thing and how it gets to operating good is the first thing that you get. So a lot of times that's the thing you need to go with and believe. Because when you start going with the second thing or the other third thing that comes to mind, then you start to doubt yourself, right? All right. And also, you probably like that as well. Like, if somebody says something or do something, like, you'll feel it right away, 
right away. You're highly, highly intuitive. Okay. You're a person and you get the messages, whether you believe it or not, you get messages. You just don't allow yourself to really receive them. Yeah. Or you're not, it's like you're getting them, but maybe you don't know that these messages are coming from the divine. You probably think they just some thought of your own or something. I don't know if that makes sense. Maybe you know what I'm talking about. Maybe not. Okay, disregard that. But I feel like, you know, yes, you are highly intuitive and don't let nobody else tell you otherwise, not even yourself. Okay, this card also is about other areas of your life where you are going and how you need to get inspired. Get re-inspired again and trust your intuition and trust the messages that you receive. I feel like you, you know, it's time for you to spread your wings and to fly and be free as a bird. Express yourself, you know, you're a peacock, okay? Okay, I'm just joking. But this says that you have been tied down too long and now it's time for you to break away from this attachment um, to someone place or something you know and it's always for your highest good and for your better or a greater purpose okay both cards here say that you are no ordinary person you're very unique probably an eccentric person yourself very special but it's time to step up past these limitations and these boundaries that you've kind of put on yourself and it says that you are like uh trapped but i don't like to use that word okay i need a synonym or something like that um stuck i don't like to use that but i get i reckon we can go with that you know that's saying that you might feel like that with the openness card i feel like the way it's set up or the way it came out when I shuffled the cards, I feel like it's in a great position. And it says to open up um, and to be open to the messages and the signs that you are receiving because they are going to be like your navigation system, right? Um, they're going to help you get to where you have to go. Um, follow the Big Dipper. <laughs> they're going to help you get to where you have to go. Your astrology, all of that could be very beneficial to you, okay? And it also says that the universe has a lot in store for you, and there's going to be unexpected miracles, okay? It's about, uh, you got two cards here that say that you receive messages. You receive downloads is what we say for, uh, I guess, a common term of words downloads uh divine messages you receive them often um very very often okay all right also i feel like you just need to take the time to listen to them listen to those messages listen to your intuition so i guess this is telling you to slow down just a little bit so you can really or either just really take the time to interpret them well Okay. Receive, because you do, like I said, receive messages. Do not ignore, second guess, none of that. Trust yourself. Trust your intuition. Okay, and now I'll read the back of these cards. All right, notice the blessings. Gratitude puts us in a position of having instead of wanting, thanking rather than complaining. When we focus on what we already have and take stock of our own blessings, we get more blessings. What are you grateful for? Share it with yourself and others. Then you had confidence and tell the truth. Okay. It takes courage to put your butt on the line and to go for it. <laughs> I had to be a butt on it, right? And the best way to strengthen your confidence is to put yourself out there. Who cares what other people think? Everybody starts somewhere and don't worry about making mistakes. You can always course correct, 
but you'll never know or grow unless you try. And the more you do, the more confidence and successful you'll become. When you shine, we all inspire to do the same. I think I said something about somebody was having challenges or uh, questioning their self or something like that. And then you got to tell the truth. I don't know why I'm getting jackass. I don't know. <laughs> That's uh, wild. Okay. Communication with integrity. Okay. You may need to level with someone. This person could even be you. Are you saying you're fine when you really don't mean it? Are you swallowing your knees because you don't want to rock the boat? When we hide the truth, it eventually comes out in a destructive way. Act with integrity and say what's on your mind. While honestly may lead to short-term discomfort, your long-term peace and happiness are worth it. That's a message. Okay, I thank you so much for your time, your energy, your support. Good luck to you. Notice the blessings.